Hello, and welcome to this screencast. In this screencast, we will calculate the center of mass for an object with variable density. A three foot long metal bar that has its left end at x equals zero has the density given by delta x equals five plus two x pounds per foot. We want to find the center of mass of this bar or, or the place where it would balance. And to the right, we have the formula for x bar, the center of mass. First, we'll draw a graph of the density function. The bar is three feet long. When x equals zero, the density of, is five pounds per foot. When x equals three, the density is 5 plus 2 times 3, which is 11 pounds per foot. So we can put that on the graph. Since the bar is 3 feet long and the left end is at x equals 0, our limits of integration are from a equals 0 to b equals 3. Our graph doesn't really give us a picture of this bar itself, but it does show us that the density of the bar increases from 5 pounds per foot to 11 pounds per foot as we move from the left end of the bar to the right end of the bar. If the metal bar had a constant density, then we would expect the center of mass, the point where the bar would balance, to be right at the middle of the bar at x equals 1.5 feet. But since the bar is denser at the right end to the left, if we tried to balance it at x equals 1.5, we would expect it to tip to the right because it's heavier at that end of the bar. And so we would expect the center of mass, or that balancing point, to be a little bit further to the right end. So here we can make a prediction that after our calculations, the center of mass will be greater than 1.5 feet. To calculate x bar, we will first evaluate the integral in the numerator of this formula. We use the integral from 0 to 3 of x multiplied by delta x, which is 5 plus 2x, and then dx. We can simplify the integrand to 5x plus x squared, and then we can integrate it. The antiderivative of this function is 5 halves x squared plus 2 thirds x cubed. And we're going to evaluate at the limits, x equals 0, x equals 3, and, and then subtract. So when we evaluate at x equals 3, we get 5 halves times 3 squared, or 9, plus 2 thirds times 3 cubed, which is 27. And when we evaluate the antiderivative at x equals 0, the result is simply 0. This simplifies to 22.5 plus 18, which is equal to 40.5. This will be the numerator of our result. Next, we're going to evaluate the integral that's in the denominator of the formula. We have the integral from 0 to 3 of 5 plus 2x dx, so the integrand this time is just our density function, delta x. The antiderivative of 5 plus 2x is 5x plus x squared. And again, we're going to evaluate it at 3 and at 0 and subtract. When we evaluate at x equals 3, we get 5 times 3 and then plus 9. And when we evaluate at x equals 0, we get 0. This simplifies to 15 plus 9, and that's equal to 24. And so that result is going to be uh, used in the denominator of our final calculation. So to calculate x bar, the center of mass of the bar, we take our numerator, 40.5, and we divide it by 24. And this is equal to 1.6875. The units on this result are feet, and this is calculated from the left end of the bar. Our result is larger than 1.5 feet, and so that matches our early prediction that it would be to the left, the, that it would be to the right of the center of the bar. So thanks for watching.